Y'all, whenever you're putting um, moss or whatever on your foam bases, don't glue it. Have you ever tried pushing a floral stem through a hard blob of glue? It is not a fun activity. So I'm just using these little uh, greening pins and just pushing them right into it. Uh, one other thing to note, whenever you buy these, they come flat. Do not design with them flat. Because your customer is going to put this on top of whatever, their mailbox, their gravestone, whatever, and they're gonna bend the legs down onto the grave, right? And then the design that you made while it was flat is just gonna be sticking out. Like, it ain't gonna look right. So I always tell people, go ahead and bend your legs up a little bit, get it up off the table. That way, whenever you design, you can pull some of those stems down so it looks a little more natural on the headstones. All right, so let's cover this side. I'm also not gonna overdo it with the flower pins. Shannon joined Creative Coaching today. Awesome, glad to have you. Um, why don't we need to overdo it with the flower pens? Y'all, because we're gonna be putting florals all the way through this with glue on them. All right. It reminds me of someone going hunting in a little ghillie suit, but that's just me. I hate, I hate, I hate the moss. It's, it's just messy. It makes me think about bugs, makes me think about lice, makes me itch for no reason. All right. Christina signed up for the workshop. The flowers usually cover it up. Uh, I mean, if you put too many flowers, you can cover the whole thing, but usually you can see through onto your foam base. You should always, always green your foam. Get the pick machine out, because I'm sure I'm gonna use it. Meredith made her first Etsy sale. Congratulations. All right, I'm gonna start with uh, just some greens and kind of figure out what I want it to look like.
Y'all, I even broke out the glue pot. I had to dust off, get the dust off of it to get it out, but I got it out. Y'all, if you're gonna use floral pins, uh, I recommend you use needle nose pliers to get them in. And don't just use your fingers. Uh, they are known to slip. All right, so this greenery, I want it to um, start building that little base off to the sides. That's gonna kinda hang down. Let's try it without the floor pin. Just fine. All right, now on the sides, I personally don't like to just go out straight like that. So I'm gonna put mine out like this at an angle. and then kind of fluff these out. So if I would have just put one straight out like this, it would stick out really far out front and not really what I'm going for. Hey, Dina. So backstory, I don't typically uh, do personal requests, but uh, this one was for my mother. So they are making a road trip next week to go out to my stepdad's uh, grandmother's gravesite. So, you know, sometimes you break the rules. You make a lot of grape saddles. I don't really appreciate them. And this green over here is kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. But I don't really like centerpieces or florals or any of that kind of stuff. Barbara, if you head over to the website, you can type in football and see what we have. I don't know offhand. this sides. All right. Then I'm going to take some of those same pieces and start coming up and over. Karen, uh, you can definitely put it on the mailbox. So the base just clamps down and you can clamp it down on anything really. Y'all, I only have one of these left. So I'm just gonna put it over here in the center.
All right. So I'm gonna use these white or cream colored sunflowers. Uh, the greenery that I just used was FN164435. Nope, I'm lying, that's the sunflower. The greenery that I just used, I have no idea. Get some glue on that stem. So I put it about halfway into the center. And then I'm folding those tips down. Right? Nancy, congrats on the baby shower. Sorry about her being popular. Y'all, uh, I'm gonna turn my glue up a little bit. I want my glue to be like the consistency of honey, and right now it's more like taffy. Uh, the glue in here is quite old. I never clean it out, never change it out. I just go with it. When it starts to run out, I throw another glue stick in there. All right, now just like we did with our other leaves, I'm gonna go out this way and this way. Whenever you start to spread that out a little bit, it'll start to fill in that side. Hey, Patricia. So y'all, look how this side already started filling in. Now we're gonna fill in this side.
Y'all, I am taking those stems and I am bending it a little bit before I work it in there. That way I don't have to worry about trying to bend it when it's in the styrofoam, potentially cracking it. how pretty that is. All right, now let's do the other side. I was like, I know I grabbed six sunflowers. You love it? Thank you. Uh, this one is FN6164435. I think FN1620 is the yellow. We got one more sunflower in here. I thought they were daisies. Uh, the ones at the very tip may be daisies, but these are sunflowers. And what's, I looked for daisies at first because her name was Daisy, but I didn't have any here. I had some at home, but I wasn't going back home to get them, y'all. All right, same thing, taking our long stem, bending it just a little bit. And then this one is going to fill that last little spot right there. Yeah, in the creative coaching group, we have uh, pieces like this one. We have the ones for the urns, we have uh, whole grave saddles. We have all kinds. Like the whole piece for the top of the grave. Now make sure that you're not going all the way through your foam because that base needs to sit flush on the headstone. All right, can you guys see why when we first started, I said to not design it flat, right? I have one more. I said you don't want to design it flat because if you design it flat, whenever they go to put it on the grave saddle, the edges are going to be like sticking straight out and just look really weird, right? So by bending those legs and designing with the intent to let it hang over the sides, it is as soon as they go, they can just set it up, secure the legs, and it's going to be pretty. Like they're not going to have to fight with it.
Y'all, I grabbed quite a few other pieces, but I don't think I need to add that. I did grab a little bit of this ivy just because it's kind of fun. Just to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, whimsy. I'm just going to put them every once in a while in different little places. Unless this stone has a slanted face, those won't do a good job holding a slant face stone. Unless this stone has a slant, I think you mean unless this stone doesn't have a slanted face. I will tell you, this is the kind that we use on her grave every single time, and it's perfectly fine. But thank you for your concern. You want to see more of these? Janet, join us in the creative coaching group. It's where we do all things all the time. Y'all, on these, they're wired all the way through. So I just curl the leaves a little bit. All right. Oh, look, I had two of those. <laughs> of course, now I have it. Um, Y'all, I was gonna do this red and white, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I wanna do that. I think I wanna, um, go get white and just do white on white. So my thoughts were to do it red and white, like a little patriotic, um, just because it's gonna be there for more than one current season. Um, but I don't think I wanna do red. I think I wanna put white in it.
Well, I was doing the red because it was a color that she liked. She liked uh, purple too, but purple with the cream was not going to be cute. All right, so we're just going to fluff out our little 60919. And then I'm going to use this to make it just look a little bit more airy and fun. And then pull those down and through. All right. So I'm gonna come right out, right between the greenery that we put on the side and the stem that we put into the top. Right there. And okay, this is for Granny since y'all are heading out there. What should I search in the creative coaching site for these? Sandy, I would look at the stuff labeled sympathy. Nothing like a little fireworks on a random Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? Like, what they popping fireworks for? All right, we're gonna put one more up here at the top and we're gonna call that a wrap. Um, if you, someone asked about a bow, if you were going to add a bow to something like this, I would do uh, a very light, airy bow, like a little, another firework. Something, just a few loops and a tail. Let me just zip tie it real quick. Needs one on the back. I didn't put one on either back. I put them on the side and the top. Right, so just something light, airy, done like that. And then, uh, you know, just mount that in there if you wanted. Uh, not something I'm gonna do on the piece, but that's it. All right, y'all, that's it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow we will do the Halloween piece, eventually. All right, you guys have a good night.